I'm Ian Campbell. Here are today's top stories. A third person in a year has died while skydiving at a parachuting school north of Toronto. 39-year-old Brad Vale, an experienced jumper with more than 2,000 jumps, was at Parachuting School of Toronto in Georgina. Vale's chute is reported to have opened properly, but he wasn't able to slow down fast enough. The president of the school is Adam Maybe. Uh, he was doing a high-speed approach on a high-performance parachute, which he has done many, many times before successfully. And for reasons yet to be determined, instead of um, coming out of the, the turn and just skimming across the ground for his landing, he hit the ground hard. This is the third death at the school in the past year. In May, a woman died when her chute failed to open. Last July, an Etobicoke man was killed after losing control of his chute. In Canada, there's an average of one to two skydiving deaths a year. There is an update on the search for the missing five-year-old Alberta boy and his grandparents. Police have been searching a property where a truck was found that matched a description of one seen near the grandparents' house. They also released a person they believe is a person of interest, Douglas Garland. Deaths related to prescription painkillers are up 250% in Ontario, making this the leading cause of death among young people. A study finds one in every eight deaths of people aged 25 to 34 is linked to the drugs. Researchers say many young people seem to think the drugs are safe because they are prescribed. The study was conducted by Toronto's St. Michael Hospital and the Institute for Clinical Evaluative Sciences. It looked at opioid-related deaths from 1991 to 2010. And love isn't the only thing in the air for these newlyweds. They had quite the twist when they went for their wedding pictures. The fearless couple in Saskatchewan weren't phased by the ultimate photobomb. The pictures have over 10,000 hits on social media. Now that is true love. Those were our top stories. I'm Ian Campbell. Thanks for watching.